Hey guys, this is Steven. I'm back again with another tutorial. <clears throat> uh, this tutorial uh, was actually a request by uh, two guys uh, in separate emails uh, that wanted to know how to basically decapitate someone um, uh, during a movie clip that they, that they want to do. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it, uh, except I'm going to show you how to do it the hard way. Um, which is how to do it without a green screen, because uh, if you've got a green screen available, anyone can do it. Um, it's 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 fairly simple and straightforward. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you how to do it uh, if you're like on a shoestring budget or have or or a student or have no way of getting hold of a green screen. Uh, so what I did here is I I took um, uh, Sam from VideoCopilot.net, who I used uh, on one of my other little um, Oh, videos of teleportation slash disintegration. Um, and basically what we have here is uh, uh, Sam on his green screen and then we have, let's get the actual picture here, and we have the background. And so what I did is I um, uh, just masked out Sam, so I took the Sam um, movie clip here and I pre-composed it and let me turn off all the all the keying here. So I, I pre-composed them and I put a, a junk mask around them and uh, basically it's just enough mask to uh, um, you know cover the cover the animation so you know his arm swings out you know I made sure there was enough room out here and then I uh, applied a, a color key number one um, Actually, not color key number one. The first color key uh, to remove most of the green. Uh, second color key uh, to remove a little bit more of the green, and then a fill su uh, spill suppressor uh, to remove any of the lingering green on the outline. Uh, then I imported the image of the background, and I took both those and pre-composed those. So now the um, uh, Sam in the background. Um, it's actually just one solid image, so that's what we're going to um, use. <clears throat> just one solid image, so you pretend you don't have a green screen. Uh, so, okay, so here's, you know, the animation back and forth. And uh, so first thing is that we're, what we're going to do is we are going to take the background, well, not background, the original um, uh, um, pre-comp that we have here of both Sam in the background and I've already named it background uh, so we're going to take that layer and we're going to control D duplicate it and we're going to rename this headshot and this is actually going to be our uh, head that's going to be flying off and so what we want to do is uh, first we want to decide whereabouts we want our head to go flying off so I actually had already chose four seconds. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it's been a long day. <clears throat> so four seconds here. And what we can do, uh, seeing as how we really don't need the head um, any time before uh, four seconds, I'm going to take this up to about one frame before four seconds. Okay, so let's let's go after four seconds here. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna turn off the background, hide the background, and I'm gonna click on headshot, go up to my pen tool, and with headshot selected, I'm just going to start masking out his head. I'm gonna put several points in there because uh, I'm gonna use this to get. Uh, you know, a decent mask masking of his head. There we go. So now we have his head completely masked out. So let's turn the background back on. So la 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 la, absolutely nothing until four seconds. The mask with his head comes on, and it's complete sync with the uh, uh, with the underlying background animation. Okay, now what we have to do see here. Now we're going to be needing this mask here not only for his head um, but we're also going to have to mask out his head from the background because when so we have his head here when his head goes flying off of 
course, I grabbed the wrong one. When his head goes flying off, you see his head's still there in the background. Now, that's, that's, that's a big problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the headshot, hit double M, not double M, but M twice really fast, click on mask, control C for copy, click on the background, control V um, for duplicate. And while background is <coughs> clicked, excuse me, I'm going to uh, go up to the effects controls, right click for my effects menu, and I'm going to go to, uh, no, actually I don't want to do that, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of something else. <coughs> so I'm going to click on background, and I'm going to hit M twice again to get our uh, um, mask attributes, and I'm going to click invert and turn off the headshot. So now we have um, uh, his heads cut out of the background, which is all good, but we're, we're going to continue on that <coughs> in a second. So I'm going to change background. I'm going to rename it background mask. Okay, so now we have a headshot and we have uh, background uh, masked out. Now, the thing is, we don't want that mask always there. So we're going one through four, and the mask is still there. Well, we can take the, uh, um, you know, uh, trim the, the, the layer here, but the problem will be is then all the background's gone. So what we have to do, <coughs> excuse me, is we now have to take the background mask, duplicate it, bring it to the very bottom of the layers, hit w, double M, and just remove the mask. Okay, so now we can take the background mask and trim it all the way up to where uh, four seconds is. So we have headshot, headshot, headshot. And we can actually trim the background, ma uh, the, the background mask too, which I'm going to just name background so we don't get confused and I'm going to trim the back of that to the very end 